Welcome back friends. It's Monday morning. We are in Mangalore. It's 9 a.m. and we are heading out for some shopping. We are heading out to Mangalore Bandar. It's a bit late in the day, but we are trying our luck to see if we can find some fresh fish. The road leading to the bandar is jam-packed with trucks on both sides. These trucks transport the fish to the nearby cities and towns and maybe to the nearby states. You have to pay a very nominal fee while entering the bandar area. Once inside, you can find many parking places where you can park your car. And here we are. The scent of the seafood is all over the place. It's a bit cloudy and it's a perfect weather to do some fish shopping. Look at all those eagles hovering above. Fresh catch. You want to buy? Whoa, looks very evil. This looks like the unloading area. Lot of orange crates. I don't know why it's orange. Maybe it gives some better visibility. Lot of prawns on the floor. As we make our way through, it's very wet. You can see that. And we are arriving at the place where the fishing boats, you know, dock. The fishing boat seems to have already unloaded and uh, it's very calm out here actually. The boats are going to retreat back, I guess. And action has moved somewhere else. Finally sighted some puffer fish. Loads and loads of them. Are we going to buy this? I don't think so. The action is all here. Fresh pomfret, we have some fresh prawns as well. And fresh angel, looks big and nice. So let's see what else is on offer. Ah, finally, we have made a decision and we are going to buy this until weighs around 2.9 kilos. That's a good buy. It looks fresh. The deal is done. And with that, we are adding some more fish. I don't know what this is. We'll find out soon. Got to witness some fish auction. We are heading out to the cutting area where our fish is going to get sliced nice and fine. So this man here is going to showcase his skills at fish cutting. His blade looks really sharp and look at his style.
the man just confirmed that the pie is a good one. The fish is fresh by looking at the blood and he is now ready to chop it. So that's the de-gutting process, He's removing the gut. Yes. And let's look at him chopping the fish. I don't think cuts like this is possible at home. It requires some amazing skills and a very sharp blade. For all his amazing skills, he charged us only 50 bucks. All the shops at this site are dedicated for fish cutting only. At this time of the day, the bandar is looking very peaceful. People are calmly going about doing the work and there is no rush. And I suddenly realized my wallet is missing. So I rushed back to the car to see if I left it inside the car and I hope it is there. So on opening the door, there it is, damn you. <laughs> we millennials are used to buying things online, so this experience was rather unique and worth remembering. Look at all those sea boats lying one behind the other. I seriously have no idea how they remove those boats. It's time to go back home and cook some fresh amazing fish. Uncle is raking up some amazing fish fry and the fish is laced with nice yummy masala and the frying is going on. I don't fancy fish much but after the buying experience and after seeing how fresh the fish was I was really tempted to dig in and this is my first try and the fish looks really fresh and there is no smell it's a good thing and I, as I taste the fish pieces I mean the taste is out of this world and never tasted anything so fresh so staying in Bangalore, I don't think we have eaten anything as fresh as this. So the whole buying experience was spot on and a worthwhile experience. I definitely recommend you go and buy fish from Bangalore Bandar if you are in Bangalore. <laughs>